Advent season is all about reflecting on how we can prepare our hearts for the coming of our Lord. Pope Francis says, It is a journey towards the horizon of hope. It is the season for remembering God's closeness to us by coming down to dwell among us. So, Advent is both a time of God's closeness to us and our watchfulness before He comes. Being watchful in expectation of His coming, the Pope continues, means not letting ourselves be overcome by discouragement, but it is to live in hope. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he said, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly you shall crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. Responsorial Psalm Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made His salvation known. In the sight of the nations, He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and His faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous deeds. The second reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before Him. In love, he destined us for adoption to Himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of His will, for the praise of the glory of His grace that He granted us in the Beloved. 
In Him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the One who accomplishes all things according to the intention of His will, so that we might exist for the praise of His glory. We who first hope in Christ. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.